post-match press conference after the second ODI between the West Indies and New Zealand in Bridgetown, Barbados. We have West Indies all-rounder Yannick Karaya available to speak with the media. Yannick, firstly, congratulations on your maiden 50 in international cricket. What was the experience like? Good experience. Um, it was a good experience. Um, getting yeah, my first fifty. You know, for the game, carried it, get it victory. I wanted the West Indies. You know, me and who was the the get it victory. You know, I always believe I could have said could have said get it runs. You know, because I thought the victory was nice. The back with the two, with the two factors. But thank God for small mercies. And on to the next game. So, do you think the wicket got easy at the bat and throughout the match today? I think it's just um just with the new ball, you know, if you need to some um, some balls and some overs, you know, and get get ourselves in, it'll be easier for us because with the two factor and with the rain around, obviously the batting will be a lot easier. The ball will come out of the bat much better. So I think we gotta understand and think about you know those first 20 overs, how we gonna get those first 20 overs with the kids in hand. So but all in all, we really look forward to the next game. Now we know it's early days, but you scored a 50 this evening. And you've been quite economical in your first two ODIs. What's your confidence level like right now? How comfortable are you in this West Indies setup? I've been working for this my entire life, so all the belief, all the work I put in, I just trust the work I put in. I just go to play cricket. I'm a cricketer. And I just go to express myself in the middle. What was it? What was the plan going out after the rain break? Losing. Eight for seventy-five before coming out to battle with Alzari again. I think um they, we needed we needed one forty odd and eighteen point nineteen of us. That run rate of seven point something, which is gettable. You know, once you have a decent partnership and uh, bring you know, as close once you bat all the overs with the case in hand, we don't win the game. But we well, know Azari played well. I think uh, we tried our best to bring it out as much as possible. And again we fell short but it was a good experience for both of us as well. Now, based on your experience of the first two games, what do you think is necessary? What do the West Indies have to do well in order to take the finale on Sunday? I think we need to buy the first 10 of us from Saudi and from both. Keep on with the game in this column, and we'll be fine. And just based on your experience, um, tell us what is international cricket like? How much tougher is it than regional cricket? And how excited are you at your prospects for the future? I think um, just the intensity, um, the speed of the game, I think um, it's just the opponent exchange. I think um, the game will remain the same. You know, it's still at the way you want to play, but it's still about good lengths and, and it's still have to understand conditions and understand your opponents. So I think, you know, just the intensity. You know, you might get, you might get, you know, about the bowlers might hit the mark more often than not. But it's still at the end of the game and still, still the same, same process, the way you have the you know, just the intensity. And just finally, any words for your family and friends that would have been supporting you throughout this journey to get here? Yeah, I just want to tell them thanks you know, for giving us support. You know, they know when I put my something I get done. You know, even though I ain't crossing the line, I know they you know, wishing it. And my family, that I know it, they were in front of the TV, wanting me to come back like, into West Indies. But, you know, unfortunately, but we have a final. I want to say thank you for my. Thank you, Yannick. Yeah, yeah, they were just doing what they've been doing for their whole careers, you know. Um, they got off soft to a flyer. Um, on a wicket that, you know, probably was a bit more conducive to batting. Um, and, and I think they made it look really easy to, well, not really easy, but I think they made it look pretty good for, for us to bowl on and ultimately got the job done. And how exciting is it now that you know in two days' time you'll be back here? A series decider, um, White Ball Mystery New Zealand's never won a one day series over here, so imagine. Excitement in the group the yeah, obviously that's why we play. You know, win the series against good, good sides, and you know they put up a pretty good fight in this game as well. Um, so it'll be a tough one for sure. And just finally, uh, yeah, you've got a consistent run with the Black Cats at the moment. You're playing uh, here with pretty much the first team as well. Uh, how much are you just enjoying being a part of it, and you know, performing for your country on the biggest stage? Yeah, obviously performing for your country is that's why we play the game, um, and it's such a good group to be around. You know, everyone's so inviting and make you feel so welcome so early on, um, which definitely helps with performance, I think, and, and going out there and showing, you know, playing how you want to play. Uh, so I think, yeah, it's, it's been an awesome trip so far. And absolutely, 
Street, so you finally, I almost forgot it, but talk us through that catch uh, at the end there, uh, needed some fancy footwork. Yeah, as you said before, it's been a long day, so yeah, it was tough to sort of switch on, but yeah, had to stay locked in to get that last wicket, get the boys off the park. Yeah, you're confident you're taking it? Yeah, gone.